Okay, this sermon is entitled, Hyper-Dispensationalism is Straight Out of Hell. Let's open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 115 reads, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name, give glory for thy mercy, and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Now, hyper-dispensationalism is a bunch of stupidity. It's a bunch of garbage. It's basically this idea that we're saved by grace in this dispensation of grace, and that people of the Old Testament, and likewise future saints in the ages to come, like, for instance, the tribulation or the millennial kingdom, these people were saved by grace plus works, or faith plus works, and that their salvation is based on an elemental mixture of the two instead of just being grace alone. And the reason why this is so stupid is because, number one, the gospel was preached in the Old Testament, and the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and that never changes. And if Jesus Christ is the the sole means of salvation through the gospel, then why are works added? It makes no sense. So turn over to Hebrews chapter number 4. Now in Hebrews chapter 4, if you back it up to chapter 3, it's dealing with Moses and the, the time of provocation. So obviously this is an Old Testament you know, time period. But in Hebrews chapter 4, it reads in verse 1, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto preached, did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So we see right there that in the, in the Old Testament in epoch, the gospel was preached. And if a person does not believe the gospel, it's not going to do anything for them. So turn back to Galatians chapter 3. We see this concept again in verse 8. It says in the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all the nations be blessed. Salvation is predicated on being justified by faith. And this was preached to Abraham in the Old Testament times. So this whole theory that salvation came by works in other dispensations is a bunch of garbage. Now another thing these dispensationalists or these hyper D's are culpable of is trying to say that the epistles of Paul are the only epistles salvifically applicable. And that they try to basically teach that the book of John was written for the Jews only. So turn over to John chapter 20. Now you'd have to be either unsaved, completely brain dead, demonically possessed, or just flat out stupid to actually teach this. Because why would the book of John be written only for the Jews when it tells people how to be saved? When people teach this garbage, they're basically intimating that the Jews are the only people that need salvation. So let's take a look at uh, chapter 20 and verses 30 and 31, and it reads, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. That's the purpose of the book of John. This book was given to the unbelievers. Okay, The whole point of this is to tell people how to be saved by having faith or believing in the name of Jesus. So anyone who teaches this garbage is a false prophet straight out of hell. Let me go over another verse that makes it very clear that in the future, in the ages to come, it's still by grace. Turn over to Ephesians chapter number 2. The real issue is where did this teaching come from? Why would anyone postulate that salvation was completely different in other dispensations? Well, it came from Satan, number one. There's no point in believing this. And the reason why this is so stupid is because if salvation were a combination or if it were like a hybrid grace plus works or faith plus works, then how do you know if you ever attained it? Nobody would have any assurance, and it's just, just a bunch of stupidity. But we see in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 7, it reads, that in the ages to come, he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. So we see right there, in the ages to come, that's future tense, salvation is still by grace. So we need to watch out for these false prophets, these hyper-dispensationalists, that they may preach grace in this dispensation, but they're still works teachers because they, they want to teach it elsewhere. So let's turn over to one more verse and then I'll close. Turn over to Hebrews chapter 13. It reads in verse 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, if the gospel message is a message about Jesus Christ, as it says in Galatians chapter 1, then the gospel message was the same yesterday, today, and forever, and it doesn't change. And the truth is, is that no matter what dispensation it is, 
Salvation was always by grace. Let's take a look at one more verse. Genesis chapter 6. And let's take a look at verse 8, and it reads, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now, the reason why I say that salvation was always by grace, no matter what the dispensation, is because human beings, being in their sinful state, can't save themselves. So if salvation were faith plus works in the Old Testament, and if salvation is going to be faith plus works you know, in the tribulation or whatever, then nobody would be getting saved. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 16 makes it clear that by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So you can't teach that salvation was different in different dispensations when it would be impossible. If we had to do works plus faith, it would never be enough. And we'd have the right to boast, so God would not get the glory in these other dispensations. So we need to watch out for this false teaching. We need to watch out for the people that promote it. They're a bunch of heretics straight out of hell, and that's where this teaching came from. It's wicked as hell. It's just another form of work salvation, thinly veiled. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.